hello guys welcome back to coding cafe so now in this video tutorial we are going to work on the edit post the previous video tutorial as you remember that we have su successfully allow a user to delete the post I mean a user is now able to delete his post now in this video tutorial we are going to allow a user to edit his post so come here to the click post activity and we have already cast a edit post button so now when a user click on that button then we will uh, display a dialog box and from there we will allow a user to edit his post so when we say uh, current user id dot equals after this if condition we can say edit post button dot set on click listener new on click listener and inside this on click method we are going to call a method which we will create now and that will be edit current post so this is the name of our method which we are going to create now so let's create this okay so it will be need uh, one parameter which is the description of the post so let's pass that description here so now let's create this method create method click post activity and our method is created successfully so now inside this edit current post method we can create alert dialog first so we can say alert dialog dot builder builder equals to new alert dialog dot builder and the context is the click post activity dot this let's give it a title so we can say builder dot set title and the title will be edit post and then we need uh, an input field inside our that dialog box so we can create an input field so we can say final edit text input field let's call it input field okay where will uh, basically a user will edit his post i mean he will write something about his post the context will be the click post activity dot this and we need to uh, display the old post uh, i mean which is already we retrieving here which is stored inside this uh, description string type variable and we pass that variable to our this method which is edit current post so we will uh, display the old post on that field so from there he can edit his uh, post description or you can say edit his post so we can say input field dot set text and the description is stored inside this variable description builder dot set view input field now we need to create two buttons the first one will be the update button and the second will be the cancel button so we can say builder dot set positive button and the name of this button will be update comma new dialog interface dot on click listener make sure to put a semicolon here first and now inside this uh, we can say i mean we have a user will basically write something inside this input field so once he click on this update button we will store that inside our firebase database the same which we did like here okay here it will be updated i mean the post description will be updated so we can say click post ref as you know that this is the reference to our uh, this post node and we are basically referencing, uh, referencing to the post on which the user will click and he has the two options there to edit his post and to delete his post so now we can say click post ref dot child and the name is uh, make sure to use the same name which is here okay which is this one description so we can say description dot set value and then we say input field we are going to retrieve the 
text which we uh, which the user write on the text field once i run the app you will understand everything okay so we can get the text from there so we can say get text oh sorry get text dot to string and put a semicolon here and then we are going to display a toast message just to notify the user that your uh, post has been uh, updated successfully so you can say post edit it or you can say update it successfully so this is basically for the update button and then we will have a cancel button that is let's say if the user do not want to uh, set his post or edit his post you can say so we can say set negative button and the name for this button will be cancel comma new dialog interface dot on click listener make sure to put a semicolon here and inside this we can say dialog which is our this dialog interface okay so by using this we can say dialog and we are going to cancel that dialog so you can say dialog dot cancel and then after that we say dialog and let's call it dialog equals to builder dot create and then we are going to show that so you can say dialog dot show and let's change the background of our dialog box so to do that we can say dialog dot get window dot set background drawable resource android dot r dot color dot and from here you can simply select a color so i will select hollow green dark so now let's run our app to see if it is working or not so our app is running now successfully and now let's edit a post so let's click on this post so let's click on edit post and you can see that the dialog box appear it says edit post and this is the text which is hello this is steve jobs the bo the boss and brilliant so let's uh, edit this post so i will say here so let's say i am going to write here if i tried my best and fail well i have tried my best so let's click on the update and you can see that post update is successfully and you can see here also that is if I try my best so the post is uh, updated successfully we have successfully edit our post if I go back and you can see here uh, the same text is here which is if I try my best and fail well I have tried my best so you can see that it is working fine now let's check the cancel button so if I click on this cancel you can see it is working fine so yeah that's it and it is it's 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 work perfect and uh, also if i click on this delete post button then you can see that the post has been deleted so yeah that's it for this video and in the next video tutorial we will be working i mean we will further add more cool functionalities to our this social networking app which is just like facebook twitter instagram and snapchat so yeah that's it for this video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel thumbs up for this video and uh, yeah see you guys in the next video take care of yourself bye for now